Hey YouTube, it's your homeboy Seth. I'll show our fitness and I don't want to say this. Um, I'm just shadow boxing in this video. I'm doing a lot of rounds um, in this video on um, shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is a good way to work out, <coughs> work on speed, coordination, uh, footwork, uh, new techniques, new combos. Um, Work on your head movement, work on blocking, offense, defense. Um, when you train in shadow boxing, you gotta act like you're fighting a real opponent. Um, that's the only downfall about it, is that you gotta imagine that you have an opponent in front of you when you are shadow boxing. And you gotta make it look more real, like a fight. And that's what I try to do. So just, okay, I'm just here to train. Um, Every boxer that I see on TV, you know, I always imagine that I'm fighting one of them. And, um, and that's how I do it, you know. It's like, let's say Mike Tyson, for instance. Um, you know, I might imagine that I'm fighting him. Or I might imagine that I'm fighting Muhammad Ali when... When I'm shadow boxing, or even better, probably Bruce Lee, um, when, with uh, martial arts. That's the reason why I do that low line block. I'm just using boxing. Um, I know that would never be possible, but you know, you can always have that wild imagination. You know, have that wild imagination come into play when you're shadow boxing because you know, shadow boxing is a good way to. You know, stay alert, stay alert of your surroundings, you know, just in case you have multiple attackers. Um, it helps you move around, develop footwork, cinema, and plus it's good for the heart. You know, it gets the blood flowing and everything else. Um, out of all conditionings, um, <coughs> conditioning exercises, I would say shadow boxing is probably the best workout out there. Uh, for anybody to do. I mean, it's not really that strenuous. I mean, yeah, it is kind of strenuous, but you go at your own pace on how to do it. Um, in time, your first, at first, your form would suck um, when you first start out, but you know, it's like you just gotta stay consistent with it, you know, in the art of shadow boxing and the work on your techniques. That's what shadow boxing is, it's to work on techniques. And work on new combination drills, uh, work on uh, new tactics in the ring when moving around and stuff like that. And um, but most of all, it helps with your footwork, um, it helps with your endurance, it helps with your speed. Um, that's what shadow boxing is about it's about speed, endurance, and footwork. And it ain't really about power and technique. It's more about speed and more about um, working on new combinations and new strategies in, for in the ring or on the outside of the ring. I mean, I've used boxing in self-defense so many times and I never hardly even barely use my karate. It's just usually most of nine out of 10, my boxing is from my karate string but, um, <laughs> but I use karate strategy along with the boxing, so that kind of helps, um, if you combine the two arts together. Um, a lot of fighters out there in all over the world are combining other arts, you know, other disciplines, you know, into their training, you know, and I'm not the only one doing this. I'm like professional fighters are trying to learn different arts you know and combine them into the stuff that they already know and um i tell you what just training in martial arts in itself you know it gets you in shape boxing it to me is the first martial art in the united states that the united states has ever laid eyes on um then you have wrestling wrestling is the second art um and then you have pugilism. Pugilism, pugilism is 
Um, actually, pugilism is the first martial art. No, let me take that back. Pugilism is the first martial art in the United States has ever laid eyes on. Um, but when it comes to boxing, boxing is like the second martial art. And then you have um, wrestling. And that's the third art uh, that people has. <coughs> Excuse me. When people have seen in the United States of America. But uh, when it comes to training in martial arts in itself. Um, then after that, then it came karate. Then it came judo. Then it came taekwondo. Then it came kung fu. And, um, and so on. And then that's how come everybody formed the fighting art. You know, where people could say, oh, they... Whatever style they study, you know, that's the system they study. And that's what they devoted their whole lives for. Me, it's like, um, since I don't go to the school anymore, I'm more of like a ronin. Because when I train, I train like how a ronin trains. Because a ronin serves no master. I serve no master. I serve no school. But I still remember everything that my instructors have taught me over the years, and I improved on a lot of things that um, they have taught me. And and sometimes some things I even modify the things they have taught me. Um, so yeah, I guess you could say I'm like a Ronin because a Ronin trains on their own. You know, they don't serve no one. And, um, and that's how I live the day to day life. Is that I live like a Ronin because, you know, I travel alone, I eat alone, I sleep alone, um, and I'm single. So basically, you know, <laughs> when you live the single life, you are. A Ronin, and, and you are a warrior because you're dealing with everything on your own. I mean, you don't have a companion, you know, by your side to tell you what to do. And, but you already know what to do. And that's the thing. And most people nowadays, they have a tendency to, you know, listen to their woman or whatever. Listen to what they have to say. And then... And it's go on their way. The thing is, you know, it's not this video is not about that, but it's more about being a Roman is being a warrior, being on your own, going through obstacles, and you know, in everyday life, challenges, you know, setbacks, and everything else. You know, you can use shadow boxing as a tool, you know, to improve on yourself and to improve on technique and you know you don't really need a whole lot of equipment you know you just need a good pair of shoes you need a good pair you know clothes good, good set of clothes to work out in um you do it in regular clothes yeah, it don't matter shadow boxing is always easy and i mean you don't need enough space to do it um a whole lot of space to do it um you can stay you can stay stationary um I see a lot of people do stationary movements, um, where you're just standing still doing the moves. Um, you see that in all my videos sometimes. Um, the reason why I do it that way because it's working the execution of the technique, <coughs> working the muscles of the technique. Um, that's the reason why I do it stationary most of the time because you know you're working the muscle of the technique, but when you apply it in movement. You already develop that muscle when actually shadow bossing and um, how I would do it, you know, if you're starting out in bossing, um, I would shadow boss for about three minute round and then um, three rounds of three minutes with a minute rest, then turn around and shadow boss that way. And then work your way up to a more longer period of time and more rounds. And right now, um, I'm at six rounds on shadow boxing. 
Um, that's as far as I can go in it. Um, but um, <laughs> I know I'm in shape. So that's the reason why I um, try to stay healthy. Try not to get sick so much. And um, But when there's a bug going around at my job, you know, you can't really help but getting it. And that's the thing. It's just, you know, be... You know, be you in your training. Don't be somebody else that you're not. And um, find your own way, your own passion. And people respect you on who you are and what you're about because, you know, you're not trying to be somebody that you are, aren't. And, um, and that's, that's the whole point about being a Ronin is that, you know, when you're a Ronin, you don't serve no master. Um, you don't serve no boss. Um, you don't um, rely on others so much. You just rely on yourself. And that's what a Ronin does, is rely on himself, you know, to better himself, to, you know, think wiser, more better decisions in life and when it comes to training, um, when it comes to overall health. And as like I said, you know, being a Ronin, yeah, it can be hard. And uh, being a Ronin, it can really, really, really be hard at times because, you know, you're wanting to learn different tactics. You want to learn um, different things to improve and go beyond. Well, when you go beyond, I say you can go beyond your limits on your own, but eventually you're going to end up hitting a plateau. And that's one thing you don't want to do. I've been there several, many times where I hit this plateau. I couldn't go further past my plateau point. And I, and I was just down about it. And I was just like, it was just beating me up on the inside. And so I learned to find different ways of training, you know, to get past my plateau where I needed to be at. And, um, and strength. So <laughs> strength is everything to combat, you know. And you gotta have the heart, you gotta have the will, you gotta, you gotta have the courage, you know, you gotta have the respect towards your opponent. Um, um, even the strength of your body of the movement that you're doing. And that's the thing, you know, that's what being a Ronin is about. You know, it's learning different way, ways of training and learn about life in general when it comes to knowing yourself, when it comes to, you know, doing martial arts, doing all these other activities, and it don't have to be martial arts in general. Um, it could be basketball, it could be baseball, it could be soccer. Um, but no matter what you do, um, stay in shape. Hey, you know, you know I'll give, give you a pat on the back, you know, for at least trying to stay in shape, you know, going out there playing a sport, you know. Um, playing a sport takes a lot of courage. Um, that's one thing it does. It does build up courage, And plus it builds up team, team um, player. It builds up, you know, um, courtesy for other team members. Um, <coughs> I know this one thing, you know, if you show a team respect the whole entire time, they have your respect back. Um, I know that for a fact. That goes with anything you do in life. Is that you always got to show respect. Because that's the number one key. And, and again, by in this world of being a Ronin. And working alone. Eating alone. Sleeping alone. And everything else. And doing everything alone on your own. And that's the thing, you know. Always be positive. And always try not to be negative all the time. Yeah. In some of my videos, I do say negative things. But I try not to let it bother me too much. Um, but like I said, it's just... You got to get up, do what you got to do to make what's make you happy. You got to do what you got to do to make yourself feel better about yourself. And quit whining, quit bitching, quit complaining. And just get up and train. Put yourself in a better positive mood. And, you know... Start throwing punches at life instead of, you know, letting the life throw punches at you. Learn to dodge them. Learn to weave them. Learn to block them. Learn to counter punch them. 
you know, do what you gotta do to get back up at life. Um, <clears throat> and just keep moving forward, even if you're having hard times. You know, like this past month, I've been dealing with a lot of crap, and um, I said, but do I let it bother me? No, I don't. I just move on. I just keep punching that life. I keep doing what I do because it helps me get through with what I do at all times. And and it's like I said, you know, that's who I am today. And um, it's like I said, I don't take no crap from anybody. And, and that's how um, I get my respects because I don't take no crap from anybody. I train hard. I'm a fighter. Um, I'll fight if I have to. Um, so there you have it. You know, that's what Ronin's are about. And it's to train hard, train smart. And most of all, worry about their health and everything else. And um, so there you have it. This is a voiceover of doing shadow boxing. So like I said, shadow boxing is about working on footwork, endurance, and... <coughs> Working on uh, new tactics for training and new drills for your back work and everything else. Um, reason why I don't spar that much in none of my videos because I really have nothing to prove to you guys. And um, I know I'm still good and I know I still got it because um, I hold up to the Clinton, my best friend in the video. I mean, he's younger than I am. And, I mean, I still got got it because I stay in shape, I stay healthy, um, I still keep up with my techniques. Um, that's the reason why I come my training in the martial arts and it's to uh, better myself every day. You know, even though it may be the same moves that I do, but I do do, um, do do, um, sorry about that. Um. <coughs> Um, work on checking the same thing over and over.